Guys, it's not my birthday, but it's my birthday soon. Ah. So I want to invite you to my birthday. Oh, thank you. Uh, so I will make a cute, interesting birthday invitations, okay? okay? Do you want to make birthday invitations too? I want to do... To make? make. Birthday invitations. I want to make birthday invitations. Awesome. Uh, can I please make birthday invitations? Yes, you can. Now, we're going to start with color paper. Uh, what color do you want? Do you want yellow paper, orange paper, or red paper? Uh, can, I I, can I have, can I have uh, the yellow paper, please? Yellow paper. Here you go. Oh, yeah. You may have two. <coughs> uh, can I have red paper, please? Yeah. Oh, red paper. One sheet of red paper. I will, thank you, I will take orange paper. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a square. How do you make a square out of an A4 sheet of paper? Well, you look for the diagonal. So, yeah, exactly, you fold it like this. You make long diagonal you end up with this so you know that this, you're gonna have to cut along this line to make this clearer what we can do is we can fold this little part over you can do it over and down no. which, whichever way you prefer And now we're going to cut this part, okay? Uh -huh. But we don't have scissors. I'm going to go and get scissors. Scissors! Can I have scissors, please? <coughs> Can I have scissors, please? Can I have scissors, please? Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so let's cut this part, the part that we do not want. You can open and cut along the line. It's a square. Look at this. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is going to resemble a paper fortune teller. Have you ever done paper fortune tellers? No. So they involve, they start with a square and they involve a lot of folding. It's a bit of the, you'll see. Uh, so, we can fold this along this line, but now let's fold it like this so we get another line. Good, excellent. So, you should have a cross in the middle. Okay, looks good. So, now we're going to bring each corner in the middle. We're going to put, put them in the middle and fold. Okay? Put in the middle and fold. And you continue with number two, three, and four. And you should end up with a smaller square. Look at this, beautiful. Thank you. Amazing, okay. You know what? Let's, let's continue, okay? Let's fold again. Oh. Uh -huh. So, same thing. We take a corner and we bring it in the middle. And we fold. Corner, middle, fold. Corner, middle, fold. Corner, middle, fold. Amazing. End up with a tiny square. Nice. Fold. Great. So now we have this. <coughs> the final folding we'll do is we're simply going to fold in the middle, like this, to end up with, this time, a rectangle. 
of the thing on. Okay. So, this gives us an interesting shape. So, everyone, grab a marker. What color do you want? I want a black marker. A black marker? I have brown. Is that okay? It's, it's okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, can I have a purple marker, please? Purple marker, here you go. Thank you. And I will take a blue marker. So, what we're gonna write here, we're gonna write open me. Okay. We want people to open this. So, big letters, open me. Let's try it. Oh, <laughs> can I have the blue marker? Yes, you can have the blue marker. Thank you. So, open me, so people know you, you, you have to open it. Also, because it's closed for now, but having a little uh, piece of tape here is nice, so it doesn't open on itself. So, open me. Okay, so people will open it, and boom, they will see this. So, on this part, we're going to write, you are invited. Okay, everyone, you are invited. You, you are invited. invited. If they don't know how to write it, you write it on the board and your students can copy it, okay? But you guys know how to write it. You are invited. You are invited. You are invited! Nice. Cool, oh! It goes Clever. around. Clever. Clever. Uh, is that good? It's good. You are invited. Simply. So you are invited to what? To my bar mitzvah? To my no? To Your my birthday, birthday to my party. Birthday party. Yeah. So let's open. Open. And here we're gonna write to my birthday party. To my birthday. birthday. Party. My birthday party. Ew. So we're going really fast, but you can make it really fancy with your kids. You can add color, drawings, uh, uh, you can glue things, uh, you can really go fast. Now, we still have another layer that we can, uh, we can open. So let's open the last one. And here we can add uh, details or uh, where is it, when your birthday is. If you do this as an ESL game with your class, uh, you can just add like a general sentence like um, bring a costume or uh, uh, the cake will be very good. Okay, so just a general sentence. Or you can just draw a cake. I'm just going to draw a big <laughs> cake like this. I'm going to draw a present. Um, I'm hungry for cake. I'm hungry for cake. Oh, you can write, bring a present. That's what I wrote. Oh, nice. I drew a present. <laughs> I'm hungry for cake. Okay, bring me a present. Excellent. So now let's close them and um, let's close them back. So they look like this. Okay. So, what now you can do is you can have your kids pass it to their neighbor or uh, put them all in a hat, close them with a piece of tape. It's better if you put them in a hat. Anyone pulls out um, pulls out a, a birthday invitation and reads it. So, okay. So we're just gonna mix. You know, you gotta take it Oh, it's mixed. Oh, and you open it and say, Oh, open me. Everyone will have to read it. Open me. You are invited to my birthday party. To my birthday party. Ah, oh, it's a present. <laughs> ah, cool. Okay. Now, of course, this system can be used with a lot of different things, but I'm pretty fun with birthday invitations. Have fun with this. Bye. Bye.